Hi, I would like to welcome you to CIS 105 class this semester. My name is Tammy Munson and I will be your instructor. I'm really excited to get started with this online class. Um, I would like to tell you just a little bit about myself so that you can get to know me better. And then through a discussion forum, I'm going to have you tell me a little bit about yourself and the rest of your classmates so that we can get to know you as well. Um, I was born and raised in Plankington. I live in White Lake, South Dakota with my husband, Mark, and three kids. Um, I have a son who is attending Mitchell Tech right now, and I have a son who is a junior at White Lake and also a daughter who is a sixth grader at White Lake. Um, so I travel back and forth to work um, doing the commuting thing, which is not bad. Um, I'm starting year 14 here at MTI, actually 15 years with the Mitchell School District. My background is kind of varied. I started out um, with a bachelor's degree. I have a double major in English and communications and theater with a minor in education. So I went and taught those courses for a while in the K-12 systems. And through that, um, I became interested in pursuing my master's degree. I obtained my master's degree at Dakota State University and I have um, a master's degree in educational technology with specializations in technical systems and distance learning. So the distance learning portion of being able to create online classes is kind of a passion of mine um, and it was a great degree to be able to do and I actually completed that degree all online except for two weeks. Um, we did one week each summer on campus. So it was a great opportunity for me. And you guys will soon learn that to be an online student and to be successful you have to be very dedicated and very responsible and probably one of the most important things is communication. Um, I provide you with all of my contact information so that you can feel comfortable contacting me um, and just keeping those doors of communication open because I want to see everybody be successful and in order to do that you do have to communicate. Um, so hopefully it puts you a little bit at ease knowing that I myself have gone through online training and also done online coursework so I can understand sometimes that life gets in the way but through communication everything will work out just great. Um, I would like to get you started first of all with the website. So if you go out to Mitchell Tech's website you will see um, a link that says My MTI. Simply by clicking on that link it will pull up Mitchell Tech's My MTI and through there you can go ahead and log in. Right now I'm logged in. If I log out here then you will see that you have to enter your username and your password, the credentials that were given to you um, on your course registration. And when you do that, you go ahead and click log in. And then you're in MyMTI. And you guys will probably see a list of your courses that are available. The one that we are in is CIS 105, and then it's 01, which is supposed to stand for online. So complete computer concepts if you click on that link. Then you will see our overview page come up. Um, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the syllabus. So if you go over here to the left side and scroll down and find syllabus and click on that, you're going to see that you have kind of a little introduction about CIS 105 online, just kind of telling you when I'm going to post assignments, um, when assignments are due, and then just talking a little bit about late work. But I will, again, let you take the time to be able to go through and read that. Um, we've had a little bit of issue today with the syllabus link. Um, they are working on it. You know, I can go in one time and look and it works and then I go in the next time and it's off. But in any case, by tomorrow it will be up and functioning. And within that syllabus you will see um, my hours for um, course meetings, if you need to get a hold of me, and information about the textbook, etc. While we're talking about the textbook, just in case you're wondering, um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but this is the textbook that we will be using this semester. Um, in the syllabus is the ISBN number for the textbook, so please go ahead and get that textbook um, and make sure that you have it ordered so that you have it to help you work through the assignments. The next thing that we can go ahead and take a look at is um, the coursework. So if I click on coursework, this will show you what assignments that you have currently do. Um, you will see, so far I've opened up five different assignments. You're going to see a variety of due dates for you. Um, you'll see that you have the Create SAMS account that's now open, Download Files, Introduction Discussion, Chapter 1 Word, and Chapter 2 Word. 
However, those two are not due until Sunday, September 6th. So if you focus on the three that are due now, that would be wonderful. Um, you need to do an introduction discussion. So with any of these assignments, you simply click on the link. You can do them in what order you want as long as they're done by the due date. You'll notice when it is due and then um, in terms of your posts and then when I want it completed. So you just simply write a little introduction about yourself and you can do that through the discussion forum. Again, on the left, if you click on that link, you'll see introduction to discussion. You can click on that and it gives you the criteria of the things that I would like you to discuss within that discussion. So um, that would be one of the things that you can start on. And you can toggle back and forth by clicking on the links. You'll see then also that I'm going to have you create your SAMS account. The, the assignment link, if you click on it, it will show you what it is that you need to do, gives you the institution key, tells you what link to add into your address bar so that you can go ahead and create that. Um, also, you will see that there's a SAM login link that you can click on and you can use that as well. So just be sure that when you create that, that you join my section, which will be Munson CIS 105 online. Um, tests, tests in this class um, will be given periodically. You will know when the tests are. We will do all of the work in Word and then we'll take a test on Word. Then we're pretty much done with Word. The same will be true for Excel and PowerPoint and Access. I need you to create the SAMS accounts because that's the environment that we'll take the tests in. We will take hands-on tests as well as multiple choice tests. And the combination of those tests will give you that final test grade in the class. Um, I will not open tests early. You will have a window of time as to when the test will be given and you need to take it within that time period. So you wanna make sure that you schedule things accordingly. Um, there's also, if you ever have any difficulty with anything that you're working on in terms of MyMTI. If you go to um, Mitchell Tech's website, you're going to notice that there's a link that's called Help Desk. And if you click on that link, it will just simply take you out to a form that you can go through and fill out. You would be an online student and then what type of system you have, phone numbers, how they should contact you, and what the issue is that you're having. And then they will get back in touch with you to be able to help solve that problem and the help desk is phenomenal here at MTI. They're really great about getting in touch with you and helping you get that problem solved as soon as possible. So I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of the help desk. Again, that's on Mitchell Tech's homepage. Um, back to the MyMTI. Um, if you look under coursework, again, the other thing that they have for you is download files. And so basically what I want you to do with this is file management. I want you to create a folder for your downloaded files that you need. They're called data files. So what the data files do is keep you from having to type all of the information out yourself. There are files where the information is typed and you just have to go in and manipulate that text. So in order to do that, you'll see that the link is here for you to go out um, and create that. So we will click on that link just so you can see the student data files are right here when you get out to Office 2013. My colleague, Deb Giblin, has kind of, um, created some videos. Um, she's created them over the last couple of years, and they're really not outdated, so we just continue to use them within our program area. The difference you may see in her video tutorial is that the book says Office 2010. We are just now simply in the Office 2013 book, but the process for downloading the files and creating the folders is exactly the same. So I just didn't want you to be alarmed by that. So you click on student data files, you'll download the zipped folder, then you have to unzip that folder into the folder on your desktop. And again, if you have any questions with any of this, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. Um, as I mentioned before, I talked to you just a little bit about communication and how important it really truly is as we are going through and working in an online course. And I know sometimes that you can stumble across things and you can become frustrated because they're not working the way that you think they should. Um, again, just please communicate. Oh, here's the syllabus that has just become available to us. Sometimes we just have to be a little bit patient. So you'll notice that my contact information is here. Also, please note that I provided you with my cell phone number. You know, this is an online class. Anytime, anywhere, you should be able to contact me. I would just please ask that you respect my time with my family after 10 o'clock at night. So please don't call or text after 10 p.m. 
you know, you can send me an email. And if I'm up, I will be more than happy to respond to that email at that time. I would just ask that when you are, you know, getting ready for tests or deadlines are coming up for assignments, we know that assignments are going to be due by 11.55 p.m. on Sunday evenings. Please don't wait till 11 o'clock on a Sunday night to start an assignment because you've had an entire week to do that. Um, so just really kind of plan your time out and stay on top of things. I don't find, a lot of people don't find the CIS to be very um, overwhelming in terms of the amount of time it takes you to do things. So just make sure that you're staying on top of that and asking questions. And again, you know, I'm more than happy to help you with anything that I can, just not after 10 o'clock at night. Um, you'll notice my office hours. You know, this is an online class, so our office hours are kind of virtual, but I don't have face-to-face -face class until 10 o'clock on Monday and Wednesday mornings. So I'm kind of allowing that time frame to be able to help you with things. Um, after that, I'm kind of in class uh, till around 3 o'clock. Then I travel back home, so usually not home until around 5-ish. Um, which again, you can call me on my cell phone, you can email me, um, whatever's easiest for you to do. And we're also going to be using Skype for business, which will allow us to video conference back and forth. Um, and there's a chat feature in there that we can answer questions that way as well. So that's kind of a quick introduction of the CIS 105 online class. I'm really excited to get started. Um, there are a variety of students in the class. Again, some of you are first year, some of you are second year, um, some of you are taking the online program here at MTI, and some others of you are just taking this class in an online format because it works better into your schedule. So I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you, and let's have a great semester.